Nicole Schertzinger-inspired makeup look based on the cover of her new single, Wet. For foundation, I've tried some new products by Mimi Me, Me, Me. This is their 7th Heaven Face Base Primer. It's extremely hydrating and yet very lightweight and it's a beautiful moisturizer actually to wear during the day just on its own. The foundation I use this time is Mimi Me Me's Flawless Cream Foundation. It's a beautifully lightweight medium coverage foundation and it glides on beautifully smoothly over the face primer. For this look I'm going to try some very special toxic free cosmetics. This brand is called Inica, it's an Australian brand. So I'm going to start with this certified organic lip liner by Inica and this color is called Nude Delight. It's a shimmering beige color and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a little unconventional and put it on my eye. So I'm going to trace a line along the crease and I'm going to lightly apply the color down to the lash line. It provides this beautiful wash of shimmering a beigey color. <laughs> a beige color. That sounds good. Now I'm going to use this mineral eyeshadow by Inica. This color is called Burnt Sienna and it's a beautiful ready brown. Kind of looks like that. And you can just tap off a little in the lid. And a little goes a long way, so you can just dab it on the end of the brush. I'm using a mini dome brush and I'm going to add the color right here, just above the crease of the eye, making a little V shape. And filling the middle, it's a little triangle. And then I'm going to add some more of the burnt sienna here on the outer corner of the eye. I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush. And I'm going to go over the edges of our burnt sienna color making them softer and more subtle. And then I'm taking an E50 large fluff brush, this is also by Sigma, and I'm taking Blank Type by MAC. It's a nice neutral matte beigey color. And I'm going to apply that under the brow in just a couple quick sweeps. And now I'm going to use an Inica Certified Organic Eyeliner, and this color is Graphite. And these pencils are beautifully soft. I'm also going to line my lower waterline, slightly smoking it out. And now I'm going to use a Mi 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 Precision Eye Definer, and I'm going to draw a super skinny line right against the lashes. And then I'm using a Blush Professional shader brush and I'm going to grab some of this iridescent white. We want to create a slanted line of highlight. And so I'm going upwards in a slight slant. And ending at the crease of the eye. And I'm just brushing at the edges here so that it's not too distinct. And now I'm using an Inica Mineral Eyeshadow in color Eternal Marine. It's something between a green and a blue, and I'm just tapping some out onto the lid. I'm going to grab some of this color onto a MAC 231 brush, and I'm going to apply this along the lower lash line, just below our gray. And that will contrast really beautifully with the warmer tones we have above. Now I'm going to use some extra volume collagen mascara by L'Oréal Paris and I'm going to use a mini fan brush and goop some of that mascara on and we want to concentrate especially on the lashes on the outer corner of the eye making them long and thick and I'm going to go ahead and coat my top lashes as well. If you've got very thick lashes this will probably be enough. I'm using Ardell Fashion Lashes number 120. You want to paste this as close to our natural lashes as possible. Now I'm going to use another Inica Mineral Eyeshadow. This color is called Fairy Floss. It's 
kind of a pale pink, but actually when it's on, it looks a lot less kind of candy colored. And I'm using a Sigma F35 tapered highlighter brush, and I'm just going to dab a little bit of the fairy floss on the tip. And I'm going to add that in a curved C shape just here for an iridescent, slightly pinky highlight. And using a Blush Professional blush brush, I'm going to dab a bit of this color. This is by Mehron. It's a powder cheek color in Mojave. It's a beautiful matte tan color, and this is perfect for contouring. So I'm going to draw a C shape into the hollow of the cheek. Just buff that out. And on the apple of the cheek, I'm going to apply a bit of this cream cheek color. This is also by Mehron. This is a beautiful, it's called Shell Pink. It's a stunning peachy color. And I'm going to dab some on my finger and lightly apply it. Give yourself a smile. And blend away. I line my lips in the same new delight color. I slightly went outside my natural lip line. And I colored in the four corners. Normally lip products should stay on the lips and not be used on the eyes, but because this is an organic product, it's possible to use them on the eyes. But if you do use the product for your eyes and lips, don't use them on your lips and then your eyes, or disinfect them in between, because the eye area is very sensitive, and the lip area can have germs that the eye area does not like. And I fill the lips in with a lip glaze by Mimi Me. This is color Creme Caramel. It's an iridescent nude color. And it has a really beautiful vanilla kind of scent. It's a very sophisticated vanilla scent, not one of those kind of tacky ones. And it has a really nice formulation that's moisturizing and not too sticky. And now you're ready to get wet. <laughs> the wig that I'm using for this look is from Stargazer. It's called a mermaid wig, and I've used one of their mermaid wigs before in a silver color, and that was for my Lady Gaga look. I'll link a picture there so you can see. I want to give you a bit of a talk about wigs soon because I've ordered so many wigs on eBay, and you may as well learn from my mistakes.